In this episode, Dave buys a micro for 30 quid and we reckon it's almost worth every penny. Then we take it one step away from this to this. Basically did. But she's a beaut. You saw it. I'm going to prove it to you. Uh, we'll believe well, you, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> she's green as well. Yeah, yeah. Very well, green. Yeah. Slightly yeah. organic. All right, then. Good runner. We'll believe you. Let's have a look. Dave reckons we've got the spiritual successor to the Mini on our hands here. He's right when he says they're small, compact and fun. And yes, they're cheap to buy and insure but their pedigree runs deeper than learner cars and pension run transport for the Blue Rinse Brigade. They've got an amazing all alloy twin overhead cam engine, especially the 1.3, which Dave hasn't bought. These things were successful rally cars and they can be a lot of fun to drive with the right tweaks. Uh, excuse me guys, nice history lesson and all that, but this car stinks like something died in it. And I think what we're gonna need is Jet wash. And thank goodness this morning I went to the pound shop and I got us some instant valet, some tyre shine, and some traffic film cleaner. This is going to look so lovely. Let's go. This is the same horrendous box of delights that Dave brought to us earlier on. It's white. It's shiny. There's no denying the quality of the Micra. Dave really did pull it out of a dirty great hedge. And with just a bottle of fairy liquid, we've restored that showroom finish. The original Mini is now seen as a bona fide classic but for many years it was just a cheap, plentiful small car, just like the Micra is now. There are loads of candidates around for less than 500 quid, and they even come with an MOT, which is something Dave's little baby is never going to see again. The Micra has got plenty of potential though, both in terms of drivability and looks, so we reckon Dave has got a point, but we're gonna make him work for it. Yeah. Right, well, that's come up really well, but people are still gonna say, that's no mini. Yeah. Of course it isn't. I mean, look at it. There's more room in it. It rides better. It's got an overhead cam engine in it. Yes, yeah, but it's got five-speed gearbox. It's in it. still a three-door white shopping hatch. The reason the Mini got so popular was 
you can buy anything and everything to tune it, to modify it, to make it look a hundred times better. What are you going to do with that? Well, first of all, we've got to defrag that interior. That's yeah. getting pretty groovy on there. Yeah, yeah. Rear arch and the sill, we need a bit of paint. Um, cam covers, we can paint those, get the engine made really nice. Maybe just take it with the wheels and top spring, break out of it. What? I, I, I did not hear that. No. <laughs> chop the spring. <laughs> Next time on Spanner Addicts. The suspension is carefully stripped from the car and then some bits fall off. <laughs>